What you guys got another video here for you on how to create a Windows 10 to go version of Windows 11. Now, first off, you're going to need to get yourself a super fast USB flash drive, something like this that has 420 MBS reads and also 380 MBBS uh, writes, which is going to help make the operating system usable once you boot it up. Now, you've got the extreme version here, which is a little bit cheaper and you're only getting at slower speeds here, but whatever one you want to use here, I would go for the fastest one you can possibly get. And make sure it's big enough to accept the operating system you're installing on it. That's also key. So we've got two of these here. I'll leave links for those in the video description. Also, you're going to need to get ESUS uh, OS to go. Now, this is not a free piece of software, but it is quite affordable, and you can get it on a monthly basis where you can use it and then cancel it afterwards if you want to do it's great for booting up to windows on a usb flash drive if you've got a mac or you've got any other sort of operating system this will work perfectly fine now of course you can do this on windows 10 and windows 11 and it's completely uh, portable which means you'll be able to plug it in use it and store data on it and then and uh, shut it down and pull it out and take it to another computer and plug it straight in there and boot up to it it's that great so let's get started and i'll show you how to set it up so i've got my usb flash drive plugged in and what i'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly open up the software here. I've already installed it. It's pretty straightforward to do. So get it installed, and it's going to nag you to buy a key. So I went for the month key, and I found some sort of promo deal online where I got it for about £8, and you can cancel afterwards. Now, I would advise you to go for the Windows to go creator, install a virtual machine, and then install the uh, software on that machine, and then basically clone the operating system from that virtual machine over to your flash drive. That way, you'll have a nice clean install and it should fit. If you try and use your PC operating system that you've got now with all your programs, it probably won't fit. So you're going to need to uh, use a virtual machine for that one. We'll try the uh, Win2Go creator here. All you need to do is select your options available, which you want to do here. For instance, uh, your language, and go ahead and select that one. There's quite a few languages to choose from. As you can see here, I'm just going to select English, and that'll be fine. And what's that? once that's done, it's going to give us either EFI or MBR, 64-bit, and we're pretty much ready to go. So all we need to do here now is click on Next, and we're ready to go. Click on Next. We've got our flash drive plugged in here, and it's going to ask us for that key. So let me quickly uh, get a key, and we'll go ahead and do this. So there is one on here for one month, 1995. So I found a promo deal, so I'm going to quickly use that one. So this is the one I found online, and you can see here is a bit of a discount on here. I'm not affiliated or anything like that with this uh, site. This is just one I found online, and I'm going to use this one here. Now, you've got the lifetime upgrades of, as well. If you want to use that, you can do. That's £39. It's a bit too much for what I need for this video. So I'm going to use this. I purchased it, and there we go. We can now go ahead and use that key. Now, I will give you a bit of a downside to this is once you use the key, you can only use it on that computer. It's not going to let you use it on another machine. I try to install this on a virtual machine, and the program told me that basically uh, the key was already used once. So it's only a one-time use for that, which is a bit of a letdown, to be honest. So let's go ahead and continue. We're going to click here, and it will uh, obviously permanently delete all the data on that USB flash drive, so make sure you don't have any information on there that you want to keep. And once you've done that, it's going to download the ISO file off of Microsoft's website and then basically start to install that onto a USB flash drive. So let me go ahead and speed this process up. Now, this is going to take a fair bit of time to do, so sit back and watch the process. Again, once this is done, you'll be able to choose uh, the boot order for this USB flash drive and boot to it. Even if it's on a Mac or, or Linux-based system, it will still boot to your uh, win windows to go uh, windows 11 version it will still boot to that and there we go that is now pretty much complete and that took 51 minutes as you can see there on the sandisk ultra that was so it wasn't the fastest one and it did take a bit of time but now basically all you need to do is close this down again i just want to point out if you are going to be using the win to go creator at the top there then by all means do that. It's going to use your current operating system. Now, there's two problems with using the top version, which uses your current operating system, and that is that all of the programs and everything else you have installed on it 
is quite large and you may struggle to install that onto your USB flash drive because of the size of the drive that you're using to install Windows on. So just bear that in mind. And the other problem is if you use it and install it on your PC and you try to in then install it on a virtual machine, you're going to run into an issue where the key has already been used because it uses the key and the machine code that it generates when you install it onto that PC. So I tried to reinstall this onto a virtual machine so I could show you the other method as well, but it told me the key has already been used. So I then had to go for a bunch of hoops to try to get it to work, and then I give up. So I couldn't uh, show you the other method. But other than that, it does work pretty well, but just bear that in mind before you go out and purchase this if you are going to look to do this sort of thing on a USB flash drive. There is other ways of doing this as well. If you want to see some other ways, let me know in the comments section below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Quick shout out to Casso Time, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, PC Repair Tech, Albert Houston, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, Phil's Computer Repair, and Welsh Tony One. I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.